Here out in the outskirts of Bethlehem, Herod the Great built uh, a monument to himself called the Herodian. He had built a port to Caesar called Caesarea. He had built a temple to God uh, in Jerusalem, but this was a place he built for himself. There's a big hill beside us here that Herod built, and we're standing right now in the guest quarter area where there were baths, in an area where there's very little rain, and Herod used all of his great technological expertise to make up a, a pleasant place that was filled with gardens and baths. Now, when you look at the Herodian, one of the things that you won't realize right off the bat is that most of this hill didn't exist when Herod started. But year after year, he brought in dirt and stones and he built up a palace that's all inside of there with bathhouses, with little uh, entertainment areas. And, and Herod just created this little paradise for himself. But it was also a fortress for him because he had so many people that didn't like him. You see, Herod was known not only for technology, but for his ambition, for his greed for power, and for really his attempt to put his name down in history. Well, here's an interesting thought. When Jesus was asked about faith at one point, he looked perhaps over at this hill and he said, if you had faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this hill, be moved to that place. Perhaps Jesus was making a contrast between the hill that's built by human ingenuity and power and aspiration and the kind of hill that God can build when he created the world. And Jesus said, with faith the size of a mustard seed, you could say to this mountain, be moved. And that's the difference between the two kingdoms that you witness in the first century.